Praise God and hallelujah. Welcome once again to 101 Things Jesus Has Done For You. We are on our 36th thing that Jesus has done for us. Let's all say thank you, Jesus. Our anchor scripture is from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4a. Surely he had bore, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Jesus takes on our problems and pain. This is the 36th thing Jesus did for us when he came here on this earth. It's no secret that Jesus suffered. He suffered horribly. As God made man, he suffered the mundane affliction we all face. Tired feet, bruises, hunger, and thirst. But he also endured one of the most physically taxing touches ever devised. Death on the cross. Death on the cross. What would motivate Jesus to endure that kind of pain? The answer is found in his great love for us. He suffered in our place, enduring pain that would bring us healing. As in a mysterious but very real way, the punishment he endured brings us peace. Judge and Maltzman writes, Good Friday is the most comprehensive and most profound expression of Christ's fellowship every, with every human being. Let me repeat what this man wrote. Whether a man or a woman I have never seen the name, so it is not familiar. It is Judgen Maltzman. Judging Maltzman, and this is what he wrote Good Friday is the most comprehensive and most profound expression of Christ's fellowship with every human being. So that is how Christ expressed his fellowship with us, and it is a profound one. One of the most beautiful things about Jesus is that he suffers with and for us i repeat that one of the most beautiful things about jesus is that he suffers with and for us so he suffers with us and he suffers for us he suffered on the cross at calvary for us and now any pain we go through he suffers with us he knows it he feels it because he took up this flesh he be he, he was fully man and fully god so he also felt the pain that is why before he went to the cross and saw all that he was going going to go through he asked his father if it is possible that this cup bypass me because he knew what was ahead of him on the cross too he felt the pain and asked his father my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus felt the pain. So anything we go through in life, he also feels it because he became flesh and dwelt amongst us. May the Lord help us to understand the love of Christ. The next time I will come to you with the 37th thing Jesus has done for you and for me too. God richly bless you and have a fruitful day. Bye-bye. See you later.